Hello everyone, so today we have a little bit of a different day. Today we are going to delve into the Vietnamese history a little bit. So today we are going to check out the War Remnants Museum, the Independence Palace behind us here. And we just want to say before we get into this video that we are just simply going and observing and seeing if we can better ourselves in the history of the country that we're in. We're not giving any opinions on either of the sides. And so as we kind of go through it, as we find things that we want to share with you, we'll let you know whether they're fun facts or interesting things that we didn't know about that we learned new today. So I really hope that you just kind of enjoy exploring it with us and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Good morning. So we have made our way to Highlands Coffee just a few minutes away from our place. We wanted to get some coffee and a little bit of breakfast before we hit the ground. Walk in all over to see some of the best sights in Ho Chi Minh today. So we're gonna have our coffee and our breakfast and then we'll get walking. I'm not gonna lie, it was probably one of the worst sleeps I've gotten on the trip yet. The AC in our room does not work. It The fan works on it, so it's blowing air, but it's not blowing cool air, so it's not cooling off of the room. So it's actually hotter in our room than it is in the rest of the actual building. So, you know, the night's sleep was, was not great, but Graham and I both took a shower this morning to kind of rinse off all of that sweat from last night. And we chose a coffee place really close because I definitely, definitely need it and it's going to be a long day. Okay, so we just finished at Vietel uh, where we're getting a sim and some data for our time here in Vietnam. We ended up going with the, just the smallest package they offer, so it was four gigs of data per day over the course of 30 days. A little bit confusing, but we got there. Uh, it ended up being 210,000 Vietnamese dong, uh, which equates to about 11 Canadian dollars. So overall, pretty good price, I think, and uh, it's obviously really fast already, so should be uh, should be good. Okay, so now that we've got a sim, we are going to start checking out the different th things to do in Ho Chi Minh. Mm -hmm. um, we first are going to start at the War Remnants Museum. It says it's only like a 25 minute walk from our hostel, um, but Robin and I both want to kind of give public transit a go here. Yeah. So we are going to try and find the bus station and hop on the bus and see how that goes. Yeah. Maybe we have to cross? I don't know. Yeah. Does it seem like they're stopping on the other side? Yeah. It's Okay, update. This is not going very well. We uh, went to the place where we thought the bus would stop. Um, saw the saw 28, the, saw the 28 bus and, and then like, watched it drive right by. So we're not totally sure how you get them to stop. Uh, and we're not really sure what to do here. So um, we're we gonna, might end up walking. We might end up walking after all. Okay, we've made it to the War Remnants Museum. I'm a really big fan of history and kind of learning about the different cultures and their histories. So I'm very excited about this and to kind of explore this museum. Um, it's not that expensive to get in from what I've read, so that's really nice as well. But we are gonna put the camera away just out of respect um, to the museum and to the culture and everything. So we will update you when we are finished. Okay, so we finished at the War Remnants Museum. Overall, it was very, um, interesting and taught both Robin and I a lot because we didn't know a ton about the war that happened here in Vietnam. Um, but anyways, if you're in Ho Chi Minh City, that is absolutely something you should check out. It's a very interesting way to look at Vietnam's history and kind of everything that they, has gone in, gone into shaping the country that they are. So um, very interesting and very heavy stuff, I will say for sure. So 
if you do plan on going, just prepare yourself. It is a bit of a, it's a war museum, so it is very heavy and, and can get very tough to look at some of that stuff. Um, anyways, on a different note, we have found some lunch. We have both got a bottle of Pepsi and our first Bon Me of the trip. Um, I'm a huge Bon Me fan, so I'm very excited to give this a try. We got the teriyaki pork Bon Me. Bread's a little tough. <laughs> Delicious, everything I kind of expected. I'm gonna get used to eating these for the next month. All right, so after we're feeling a lot better from lunch, we're going to check out the Independence Palace next. We just want to preference this with don't watch this if it's like, if you're looking for like a lot of history, because Robin and I, neither of us are really like history buffs and know a lot. So we were really just going off with what we've read in the museum and online as well. Um, so just want to kind of give you an update of what actually the Independence Palace is. So for my trusty Google here, uh, that during the war, the Independence Palace serves, served as a residence for the uh, South Vietnamese president. As well, it was designated historical monument to keep Eastern culture. Um, so that's just like what I got off a quick Google search. It was a very prominent place during the war and uh, a key place in Ho Chi Minh. So we got our tickets. We opted to do the, so there's a couple different options for admissions. You can get admissions just for the palace, which would be 40,000 dong, or for 65,000 dong, you can do the exhibit and the palace. And the exhibit is just a little bit more history, gives you a little bit more background information, um, is kind of what the girl was explaining to me. So we are doing that, but we are going to start with the palace first. This is absolutely so cool. This is, uh, I think Rob and I are both very happy that we decided to come in here. Okay, so the part of the palace that we've been so far has felt very official, very governmenty, lots of boardrooms, big tables, lots of chairs. But at the end of it is the one of the private apartments, so it's like a kind of secluded little area with like the bedrooms and the dining rooms where they would have actually like lived. So it's really cool. Yeah, so we've made it all the way to the third floor. You're currently checking out the first lady's reception room. It's very beautiful in there. Yeah, this is a really cool spot. If you're in Ho Chi Minh, definitely gotta check this out and come in and get the full ticket because I think there's just so much like you can learn and see and it's all very, very cool. So. It feels a bit like you're in like a war movie almost. It's really cool. Okay, so we just finished the palace. We started on the first floor, worked to the fourth one, and then went back down to the bunker. And it popped us outside. Yeah. It was honestly so worth it. I can't even believe that we were debating not doing this at all. It, like for the cost of it too it's so affordable and it's just really cool to see inside of where they were living and like where everything that we just read about in the war museum was taking place and the decisions were being made so mm -hmm. really cool yeah honestly like don't have really anything bad to say about it i think you get so much access to like seeing their whole lives and 
like everything that went on, I guess like really in the country in that during that time period. So And so much of the palace was open for us to see. Sometimes when we go to a place there's like one or two floors and maybe like a couple rooms, but there was so much of this palace that was open for the public to see. Mm -hmm. But now we are heading to an area called the exhibition area, uh, where it just kind of provides you an opportunity to learn a little bit more about Vietnam. Okay, so there was no filming in the exhibition center, but it was really cool. They have, or essentially it's a timeline of all of the events and the history of like all of the major things. So it helps really put into perspective the order in which everything yeah. happened. I feel like today we've gotten a lot of historic information and sometimes it's kind of overwhelming. So it was nice to kind of see everything that we had learned in kind of the order and put it into like an overall perspective so it was really cool to see it's not necessary if you want to just see the palace by itself but mm -hmm. i did really enjoy it it was just like gave us gave us both i think a really like more solid understanding of like the history of vietnam and kind of how like it became one massive country instead of one or two Please. separate countries i guess so overall just really cool i think it's just yeah. it's cool to understand the country that you're in and how it became what it is so yeah and we're definitely not giving like our opinions on any of the history we we just wanted to learn learn and and better ourselves in the country that we're in yeah. so that's kind of what we've been doing today so <laughs> yeah neither of really us nice. neither of us are history buffs or history geniuses um we just really want to understand and and learn a little bit about the place that we're in so yeah yeah Okay, at home, uh, there's this like food festival that goes on called Taste of Saskatchewan. Um, it's in like the park and it's really awesome and you go and taste all these local foods and stuff. It just so happens that now, during this weekend that we're here in Ho Chi Minh City, there's Taste of Saigon on. So we're gonna hop in and grab some ice cream or some bubble tea or something like that. Okay, so the prices were a little bit out of our budget, but it was just fun to explore the taste of Saigon because we explore the taste of Sask back at home. But I think we are going to head back to our hostel. It's been a really long day. Maybe we'll pick up a snack on the way. <laughs> the AC is working. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Last night we came in pretty late and generally people don't start the AC in the room for you. So generally you turn it on when you get here. The room's a little hot, but it takes a little bit to cool down. And I was noticing, I was like, it just kind of feels like it's blowing air. Like it's, it's just blowing on us. It's just blowing on us. I'm like, it's not actually like cooling. So I was like, maybe we have it set to the wrong setting. So I went downstairs. I was like, or Graham went downstairs, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Graham went downstairs and he was like, which setting do you put it to? So he came up and set it. And I was like, okay, that's the setting that we had it on. And yeah, last night I got, I was up probably until like 3 a.m with just like on and off sleep. I was so tired Two this morning. Two fans just blowing on us. Yeah, luckily there was another fan in this room or else I would have probably died. <laughs> Which is dramatic, but like when I'm in such a hot country and we're in such a hot place, I just want to, I think better when I'm cooler and I'm more productive when I'm cooler. <laughs> so like, yay, because we're here for four nights and I was, really dreading it but my views on this hostel are completely changed it's actually great i love, love this it. place love this place great place you should stay here <laughs> okay so robin and i have just been hanging out in our nicely ac room it was a very nice surprise to come back from our hot day uh and open our door and be hit with the cold air it felt so nice um so we've just been hanging out for a little while but now we are going to go find some food to eat. I think we found a pretty good place to get some pho and uh, see if we're going to redeem ourselves from last night. Would have been a good idea to maybe bring the rain cover for the camera. 
Might be a qu quick run home after supper. Okay, so we found a spot that was completely full of locals. We walked straight through the tourist area and ended up in this awesome little location. Rob and I both got noodle bowls, so she got a beef noodle bowl and I got a grilled meat noodle bowl. I'm not sure what the meat is, but it looks delicious. And mine came with some spring roll chunks as well. Um, so I think it's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna try the spring rolls right now and I'll see how it is. Mm -hmm. That is for sure the best spring roll I've ever had in my life. No question. This is gonna be really good. Okay, mine is delicious. Could be one of the best noodle bowls I've had in my entire life. But also, I've never had a noodle like this. It's like fine rice noodles, but then like mushed together to make a bigger noodle. I have no idea, but it's so good. So good. That was not hard to finish. We absolutely crushed our noodle bowls. Um, but now it has started raining again and Smart Us didn't bring the dry bag for our camera so we are going to put it away and we'll see you back at the hostel. Whoo! I am so <laughs> I'm absolutely drenched. <laughs> Looks like we just got out of shower. <laughs> it was just sprinkling on us and then it was just like the Pouring. gates opened up and just poured <laughs> on us. Oh, running with wet Birkenstocks would not recommend. That was not fun. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I feel bad that we got stuck in the rain and Robin even asked if we wanted to bring the dry bag for the camera and I was like, nah, we'll be fine. I think we're just used to not even looking at the weather because no. in Indonesia we knew it was going to be around 29 and sunny and dry every, every single day because it was. Um, but welcome to Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different season here. It's yeah. uh, they're still on the shoulder end of their wet season, I believe. So I think the dry bag is just gonna have to come with us every single day. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, our clothes are wet. Camera's fine. Mike's fine. No <laughs> yeah, big deal. Yeah. Luckily, the restaurant let us take a <laughs> plastic bag, or else it could have been a different story with the camera because we wouldn't have had to put it in anything. But it all worked out. They were really nice, and supper was unbelievable yeah it was so good yeah today has been a lot of fun honestly it's a good change of pace sometimes because Graham and I often go and we like see things and see sites but we don't always immerse ourselves in like the history mm -hmm. of a country so even though today was a bit heavier than some of the other days that we do it was really nice and it was really yeah. I think it was important to kind of um, recognize where you are yeah. and uh, but this yeah. has happened really recently for them and a lot are still affected and everything like that. That is where we are gonna leave it. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah, see how it is, I guess. Um, so we're gonna see how it, what am I saying? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> are you filming? Yeah. Sorry, I just wanna, sorry. Ticket. Hey Robin, how much are tickets? I don't know. That's why I didn't oh, say. Four. No, do that. Make that face again. Again? It's not. It's not. Um. Really? Hey. <laughs> uh, next. I don't know where to. <laughs> we'll come back. I don't know.